In this video I'm going to show you how to use a mask to fix this fascia board and what we're going to do different is when we use the fill tool we're going to change the opacity and we'll get a nice effect and it'll be really quick to do. To make the mask I'm using the free select tool it looks like a lasso and I come down below and I made sure feathered edges was chosen and I set it for 10 and then basically I drew a rectangle uh, on the fascia board for the area I wanted to fix and I did have to go around this guy's head though so I, it wasn't a, a complete rectangle and then once I had my mask made I chose a color to choose the fill color you want go over on the left and choose the eyedropper tool then come over on the fascia board inside your mask and choose a color that's a little darker than you actually want and click it now choose the bucket fill tool make sure fill hole selection is chosen gonna leave the opacity at hundred percent and go over in the middle of my mask and click once and here's what the fill looks like with the mask removed but by adjusting the opacity you can make it look better so I've undone that fill and I have my mask back and I'm gonna go over to the bucket fill tool and I'm gonna adjust the opacity to around 60 percent now take the bucket tool and click in the middle of the mask and here's what it looks like with the mask removed it's done and the difference is by adjusting the opacity a little bit you can see some shades and textures that are eliminated if you use a solid 100% opacity so the fascia board is fixed now on to the shirt in the next one I'll show you a completely different type of mask that can come in real handy when you have an area that's difficult to select. Well, that's it for this one. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye.